up guys? Welcome to Grease Lightning Reactions. We're for Haikyuu, episode 6, kind of, <laughs> and episode 7. So, um, you guys know that I can't react to everything because of time constraints right now. And I wasn't going to pick any specific series to do, like, all the reactions to. I know some of you had, had asked me um, to kind of hold off on doing reactions, maybe, because the season is going to continue in a couple, uh, in, um... Not the next seasonal, but the seasonal after. So I guess um, in the winter? Um, so, no. It's not in this current season. So in the summer season is when it would be going on. So skip the spring season, and then it's going to be in the summer season. I'm fumbling all over my words right now, but you just ignore that. Um, I just, I'm, I'm just still super excited to watch episodes of this, so I kind of didn't want to hold off. Um, I didn't want to give any special treatment to any one series because I think it's unfair to the other people because I've also had comments there with people asking for, uh, you know, all the episodes. And if I just pick one, you know, I'm trying not to show any favoritism um, and still give you my chance to enjoy the series. So I was watching episode six. I know episode seven was one a lot of people had asked for. And I was watching episode six and started doing this wild introduction to this this practice match. So I figured I'd just... I don't think it's going to end in this one episode because it started past the midway point, so I'm just going to follow it into the next episode and we'll call it a reaction. Here we go. 1407, 3, 2, 1. Alright. Dotetic. Dotetico. This guy. They said their block is even better than it was previously. Look at that front line. Mm. But they all have different ways they can show that they have improved as well. The people that stayed behind with their serving, Hinata with his receiving, and just mentally looking at how the game is viewed in totality instead of looking at it in a snapshot. He's been doing that. He's also going to maybe jump better. Let's see. He's going to do a high jump. Let's see what he does. Ah, oh, fake. But he's going to, is he going to do the eye thing? Let's see. No. <laughs> Block it. Ooh. Yeah, that's a triple wall. Follow. Follow. Nope. I enjoyed when uh, when the, their eyes would, would follow the the ball. You know, <laughs> that would be tough. Mm. He's doubting himself right now too. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> That's fine and dandy to say, but this is not as no. <laughs> he doesn't look concerned right now. I'll talk about the previous episodes a little bit during the Opening of the next episode. Read the book. Alright, man. This is one of the more frustrating parts of sports anime to me sometimes because they over over explaining is done often I guess yeah when you think about it mm-hmm the, the over explanations probably makes more sense in Japanese because they're using the word bunch and shift and then 
re-saying it in a different way, but in the translation it looks redundant. Coeza. Let's see. Nah. Bro, what is he doing? Oh. There's only two of them, though. Lucked out, huh? It's pretty bad. Ignore the chocolate on here. I had a little snack before I started this. <laughs> this thing's super hot, so it melted. Pantalon, pantalones. Ooh. What was that step, though? Is he having his doubts again? Come on, man. There, that was the eye movement that they did. That was good. They're more vocal. It's a little... It's weird seeing Kageyama like this. Once you start thinking about the pressure, it's already gotten to you. Yeah, but if they're able to get over this, Nationals should have breezy blocking because they said they're not, they're the best in, in the nation, possibly. Think of them as like motivation. Like you've seen so much. This is your opportunity to grow. Yeah, there we go. This is the competitive nature. Ha! <laughs> My man Bucto. Oh no, you're doing that creepy smile too? No, okay. <laughs> you got like a Hinata creepy smile. Come on, guys. Damn. It, hmm. It's a perfect. Damn. It feels so weird. I mean, I guess it's one thing. The setter does have to put your team into the in the best position to score. The, but there's also an element of the attacker in the air. Oh my god, making the right decision making. Ah, oh, too far. It looks like. Oh, he's gonna get it. Except he didn't even roll that time. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. What? You're in the way. <laughs> okay. Kind of weird seeing where this is going. Okay, um, seven. Start at the 
beginning. Three, two, one, go. You guys can call this a bonus. All right, so they're so they're redoing stuff right now. Um, as far as the episodes I watched, it's only one and a half other episodes. No, two and a half. Um, the new characters seem awesome. I don't know any of their names by heart yet. Um, the other setter that thought that um, Kageyama would be better as a uh, an attacker or a spiker. Interesting. But, oh, here we go. I'll continue talking about it once we get another break. Are you trying not to be a goody two shoes right now? Ah, there we go. It's true. You got to think of it as a whole. There we go. I thought that might be like an inciting event, but it looks like things worked out. I bet uh, he not realized it too. He's been uh, he's been looking at that stuff this whole time. Yeah, that was a bad way to say it. If anything, it shouldn't be a problem because Nishinoya didn't see it as a problem, right? Mm hmm. It's what he's. It's what that guy said to him. It got stuck in his head. Otherwise, um, Hinata learning to do the split step and reading where to go and realizing how important team positioning is and really slowing down tempo in mid-match. That was all really cool stuff to learn. Um, the Hinata playstyle lookalike, not playstyle, well, playstyle copy, I'll say, who looks like freaking Killua. He seems interesting, except I couldn't get... Um, Freaking uh, Tanjiro's voice out of my head whenever he was talking. It was really weird. Um, and then I really, really am most interested in... God, I'm so bad at names right now because I just haven't seen them enough. But Itachiyama, that's the name. The number one school. Their, their lead player. The one who was wearing the face mask the whole time. He's the one who interests me the most. For one, he has one of my favorite voice actors. Um, and second, I just love their inter his interaction with Kageyama. <laughs> He seems fun. So, some m smaller thoughts. And then, yeah, they did talk about um, working and he not having so much room for growth still because he just he's never actually thought about how he jumps. He just jumps and using the balls of his feet. And technique is very important. And the rest of the crew working on serves and aiming them and all that kind of stuff. So that's awesome. Matchups are important. They got a next level of motivation. There you go. They still were there to kind of get there. That was, that was bad. They were still there to at least touch it. Come on, man. We don't want to see a re regression. You can't let someone's words get into your mind like that. Yeah. Something's different. Yeah. 
super just Man, look at his senpai, man. Oi Kawa did it one of the that was one of the best sets in the entire series. That camera angle they had when he did that, when he flew into the tables and stuff. Ooh. It's hard to get overly excited right now. Because this one for one, this is a practice. Who? Ah, uh, yeah, the guys who graduated. They bring out They bring a banner? <laughs> I was gonna say the other thing is they don't have um Oh my god, they did bring it. The the usually in these really exciting moments, like I'd say fifty to sixty percent of like hype in sports anime is the music. That's how much I value it. Right now it's kind of a mellow tone. Not even mellow, it's not even the right word. But a relaxed feel in general. Crack their spirit. Then Nani Yori. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, they're looking like scrubs right now the way they're playing. Yeah. You're going to nationals, you got to show out. I guess this is good. In a way. I... Oh my god. Suki, so, okay, do something. Ozama. <laughs> They've always been irritated with each other. I just feel like this whole like camp stuff was to highlight their, you know, their inconsistencies. And their areas of weakness, and now was the time to kind of show them what they've learned. But I guess this is not the time for that. What? This makes me think freaking Kageyama's a mental midget. What the hell is going on? You can't let someone else's words get that into... This really feels like it feels like a regression. I'm going to see where this kind of goes, but I really need to see the point of all of this. Where are they going with it? Yeah, what? What? Yeah, but it's like a team morale.
He's a nice guy. I mean, this is good. Like, feedback's really good. Okay, okay, interesting. Now communicate, tell them what you're trying to do. Come on. Excuse me. Ah, oh, I love this music. They're gonna get straight set it, huh? Doing a better jump. The maximal, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but if you can hit that high, that's amazing. There we go. Trying to make him be less lazy. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Oh, my smug. <laughs> I'd want to punch him in the face if he did that. The frick is he?
Let me put him on his. You know, put it on his head. <laughs> Got a dog on there. Do you embrace it? That lingered out a couple seconds too long. Mm hmm. Yes. Easy. Okay. Teammates' conditions. It's important. Bring another set? They're doing a five? Mmm. There you go. It takes a lot of energy to always jump as high as you can possibly jump every, you know, every single time. Man, that's... Mm. Oh, so he was naturally reaching higher. Oh, that's what that was all about. You, yeah, observational skills. Eh? Damn. I still want to murder him. Oh my god. Yeah, that's natural. It's just... We get it. Isn't it earlier saying be nicer to me? He's like, that's a lot to keep in mind.
This seems pretty obvious. We gotta do that mega jump. No. Nope. We could do a soft. If they're already there, I feel like they need to do. They need to hit softly against the block. Be a problem. Oh, toll. Hmm. So you guys wanted me to react to the internal turmoil, huh? <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm like you guys know. I don't lie. I I really didn't enjoy the feeling that this episode gave me. It's like I, you guys know that Kageyama has always been my my. I would say his second favorite now, but my favorite player on my on the Karasun team is, is Kageyama. He's always been. And he's always been rough around the edges and, you know, overreacting and yelling at people. But I just didn't... I didn't like the way they embraced it in this episode. I feel like if I was on a team with him or in a real-life situation, people wouldn't react that way. They really wouldn't. And that, I guess that's the hang-up I have on it. Even after they kind of talked about the reasoning, and I saw, you know, certainly the results of what's happening are great. And he's in, a, in an ideal environment where it's okay to do that. But I don't know. It's just like I haven't felt that un uncomfortable watching Kageyama since I first saw him in the series. I guess, I, I don't know if, if you guys feel the same way. I felt like there was a little bit more of a balance to his personality before. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess I do know how I feel about that. But I, I, I just hope they tone it down a little bit in the next few episodes. There's a place for it. There's certainly open criticism, especially in practice especially in practice is ideal but if I see that during a match I'm like oh, you can't you can't <laughs> it's like ugh and it just feels so weird that the, the, the most of the first season especially the first season they were working on getting him away from that like name but like he still had a fiery personality, and now they're all of a sudden back to that. I don't know, let me know what you guys thought. Um, I, 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 understand, <clears throat> I understand why you guys might not be like reacting the same way I do. But I can't ignore the feeling I get when I watch this. Um, so I, I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I think the next one is certainly not going to be before episode 10. I gotta look again. It might be episodes 12 and 13 to just finish off the series. Maybe 10. I'll have to see. 
we'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.